Hello and welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of Richard Allen Kern. Today we're going to be talking about when did or will the Christ come? The summary is the Christ came to the Second Temple in Jerusalem before its destruction in 70 AD by the Roman general Titus. Conclusions From the dates and scriptures given in the chart below, the following can be concluded. Malachi, who was active from 450 to 445 BC, prophesied that the Christ would come to his temple. His prophesying was subsequent to the destruction of the first temple in 587 BC. This means he was most probably prophesying that the Christ would come to the second temple, which was finished in 517 BC, and was still standing in the days of his prophesying. It is conceivable, of course, that he was prophesying about a third or later temple, but that would necessitate that such a temple would have to be built sometime in the future, as it has not been built as of 2023 AD. Two, Daniel 9.26 states that the Christ would be slain, and sometime after his slaying, the sanctuary, or temple, and city would be destroyed. Destruction of the second temple and the city in 70 AD by the Roman general Titus fits this prophecy and would necessitate that the Christ had to have come some time before that date. 3. The scriptures record four instances when edicts were given by the Persians of Persia, or I'm sorry, the kings of Persia, for the captured Jews to return to Jerusalem to build the city of, of Jerusalem or the second temple. Building the temple might well involve rebuilding some of the city also. The dates of these edicts, as shown in the chart, were 538 BC, 517 BC, 459 to 458 BC, 446 to 445 BC. Uh, and four is, if one accepts the uh, consensus of most biblical scholars of applying the day equals a year principle, as used at Numbers 14, 33 through 34, and Ezekiel 4, 6, to the 7 and 62 week prophecy at Daniel, at chapter 9, verse 24 through 27, then the Christ was to come to his temple, as prophesied by Malachi, in 483 years after the word to rebuild Jerusalem was given. Seven weeks times seven days, or week, equals 49 days. 62 weeks times seven days, or week, equals 434 days, which is a total of 483 days, which is equal to 483 prophetical years. Applying the 483 years to the dates in conclusion, three above yields the following possible dates of when the Christ was to come to his temple, Transition from B.C. to A.D. not included. Uh, 1, 538 to 483 equals 55 B.C. 517 to 483 equals 34 B.C. 459 or 458 to 483 is 24 or 25 A.D. And 46, uh, 446 to 445 to 483 is 37 to 38 A.D. Which of these dates is correct is perhaps debatable, but no matter which is correct, each shows that the Christ came to the second temple before it was destroyed by the Roman general Titus in 70 AD. 5. If the Jews insist on rejecting Jesus as the Christ, then they must go back to the time before the second temple was destroyed in 70 AD and determine what person from that time period was the Christ. They have no reason to be looking for the Christ to come to a yet-to-be-built temple in Jerusalem. All dates in scripture references in the following chart are from the 1950 Douay Reims Bible, unless noted otherwise. BC, 1448 was the start of Exodus, about. 972 was King David died, um, which is found in 1 Paralipomenon, chapter 29, verse 28. Uh, 969, King Solomon starts building the first temple in Jerusalem. Uh, 480 years after the exodus in his fourth year as king after his father King David died which is found in 3 Kings chapter 6 verse 1 962 building of the first temple was completed seven years after starting uh, uh, after starting it or in 962 or 961 3 Kings chapter 6 verse 38 608 Daniel taken captive to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. Um, 598 is Ezekiel the priest was taken captive to Babylon in King Nebuchadnezzar's second attack on Jerusalem. 
Ezekiel's preface and chapter 1, verse 3. 587 BC, First Temple in Jerusalem burned by King Nebuchadnezzar's army commander, Nebuzardan. Uh, 4 Kings 25, verses 8 and 9. Kings uh, 538 is King Cyrus of Persia or Babylon, found in 1 Ezra, chapter 1 and verse 5, I'm sorry, chapter 5, verse 13, tells the Jews in the first year of his reign that they go uh, that they can go back to Jerusalem and build the second temple, uh, which is in 1 Ezra, chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. 522 BC, Daniel received 70-week prophecy in first year of King Darius, uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 through 27. Seventy weeks are shortened upon your people and upon your holy city, that transgression may be finished, and sin may have an end, and iniquity may be abolished, and everlasting justice may be brought, and vision and prophecy may be fulfilled, and the saint of saints may be anointed. Know ye therefore, and take notice, that from the going forth of the word, to build up Jerusalem again unto Christ the Prince, there shall be seven weeks, and sixty-two weeks, and the street shall be built again, and the walls in straightness of times. And after sixty-two weeks, Christ shall be slain, and the people that shall deny him shall not be his. And a people with their leader shall come, and shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be waste, and after the end of the war, the appointed desolation. And he shall confirm the covenant with many in one week. And in half of the week, the victim and the sacrifice shall fail. And there shall be in the temple the abomination of desolation. And the desolation shall continue even to the consummation and to the end. 522, King Darius's reign, or Easton, the Western Heritage. Uh, 1961, page 23. King Darius of Persia issues a decree in accordance to Cyrus' decree to build second temple in Jerusalem. 517, the temple built under the direction of Zorobabel is finished in the sixth year of King Darius. 459 to 458 BC, Ezra the priest and scribe goes up from Babylon to Jerusalem by edict of King Artaxerxes of Persia in the seventh year of his reign, found in 1 Ezra chapter 7, verses 6 through 7. Uh, Malachi prophesied uh, 450 to 445 BC. In chapter 3, verse 1, Behold, I send my angel, and he shall prepare the way before my face, and presently the Lord whom you seek, and the angel of the testament, whom you desire, shall come to his temple. Behold, he comes, says the Lord of hosts. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1, this is in the Holy Scriptures Jewish Publication Society, instead of Dewey Reims. Behold, I send my messenger, and he shall clear the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight in, behold, he comes, says the Lord of hosts. Nehemiah, in 446-445, sent to rebuild Jerusalem in the twentieth year of the Persian king Artaxerxes, which is 2 Ezra chapter 1, verse 1, and chapter 2, verse 6. Um, this is a questionable date, but Josephus in his Antiquities of Jews tells us, and now Herod in the 18th year of his reign, and after the Acts already mentioned, undertook a very great work, that is, to build of himself the temple of God. Um, this renovated and enlarged Zorobabel Herod temple is still considered to be the second temple. For Herod the uh, the great ruler till 4 BC, which is 4 BC, the new compact Bible of Dictionary 1967, page 578. A.D. 70. Second temple was burned and destroyed by the Romans, which was General Titus. Um, also, Easton, page 78, and Daniel 926, footnote about 70 A.D. as well. 2015, uh, which is when this was written, but now, still, 2023, no third Jewish temple has been built in Jerusalem um, to this current date. So, the point of this research paper and uh, the point of revealing it and uh, showing it is that Jesus uh, did come as the Christ, as the Lord's Messiah, and as Lord and Savior um, around you know, 0 AD, uh, 4 AD, and uh, he is to come again. 
and he has prophesied about uh, to come again. And Daniel talks about this seven-year period and when three and a half years are through that this greater tribulation will occur when the man of sin reveals himself as or states that he is God and um, that is when the final tribulation which is the great tribulation which is three and a half years will start Um, that's part of Daniel's prophecy that's part of Ezekiel and Isaiah's prophecies um, about Christ and about end times Uh, Jesus was indeed rejected and that is the title of this he was rejected by the jews um not to say that he can't not be or that can't be undone and it has been um a lot with um some jewish people but um hopefully more to come regardless of that that is jesus is the messiah the true messiah of the jewish god and christian god um and the point is that he's come once, he's going to come again. Um, we need to make sure and ensure that the Jews know that this isn't the coming of the Messiah. This is the second coming of the Messiah. He's not coming to save this time. He's coming to destroy and to take over his, his world. Um, to make it his again and give back immortality to the people that deserve it in his name. I uh, hope you all have a blessed day, blessed night, and uh, I will speak to you all soon.